Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Genesee Valley Nurses Association blog and podcast. My name is Rick Rosati, and joining us today via Skype is the president of the Genesee Valley Nurses Association, Ms. Jackie Dorsey. Jackie, thank you for joining us tonight. Appreciate you being here. Thanks, Rick. I, I appreciate having the opportunity to uh, get the word out about GVNA via this uh, interesting medium. Yeah, this is a fantastic way to communicate and share information with other nurses across a diverse platform. And, and I have to say thank you for, for your actions as president of the board, uh, allowing us to jump into social media and social networking on such a broad base uh, right out of the gate as your first year president. So thank you very much for letting us do that. Well, I think we're very fortunate that we have a, a great group of people on the board this year and people who are interested in moving GVNA into the future and and being able to communicate in different ways and get our message out there, whether it's via Facebook or using this blog. So I'm thrilled that we have had the opportunity, especially to work with you. Um, you're so well versed in this uh, type of activity. So we're, we're very fortunate, I think, on GVNA. So thank you, too. Well, Jackie, why don't you start by just telling us a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, I uh, was born in Rochester. I've lived here my whole life. Uh, I've been a nurse for almost 30 years, uh, which seems like a lifetime uh, for me. I started out uh, at a community college here in Rochester, getting my associate's degree. I went right to work and worked in the burn unit up at Strong. Uh, from there, I started working on my bachelor's degree, finished that up at Nazareth. Uh, and then went on right from there to U of R to get my master's degree, and I'm uh, an adult nurse practitioner. Uh, from there, I started working uh, at Lifetime Health uh, as a nurse pr nurse practitioner uh, in the primary care setting. Did that for several years, and then an opening became available at Monroe Community College uh, to teach. And it, teaching's always been a passion of mine, and I jumped at the opportunity, and I've now been there for eight years teaching in the nursing department, uh, initially in fundamentals and now moving to the second course, med surge for the uh, adult and child. And, and Jackie, would you tell us a little bit about what your thoughts are as to why it's important for nurses to belong to a professional organization like Genesee Valley Nurses? I think that's a great question, Rick, because I think so many times we graduate from nursing school, we're so overwhelmed with learning the new role we're overwhelmed with the long hours, we're exhausted, and then on top of that, we're expected to uh, continue our education. So it certainly stands to reason that joining a professional organization is one of the things that goes on the back burner. Um, but certainly it's something that I want all nurses to know, new nurses, nurses who've been around for a while, and certainly veteran nurses like myself. I want everybody to be involved and realize that there's some great benefits from being in a professional organization. Um, from the get-go, you know, there's the mentoring that uh, is involved with meeting seasoned nurses. It's getting to meet people from all the different facilities in the area um, and learning about learning about their facilities, learning about what's available to you as a nurse. But certainly I think what's most important is that we learn about our profession um, in a different way than we are able to through just our own organizations. We're able to look at what's going on in nursing local, at a local level through our own legislative committees. We're able to look at what's going on on the state level and certainly at the national level. And I think as nurses in a profession, we need to be involved in what's going on with my profession, who's making decisions that guide my practice. And I think from that perspective, that's should be one of the biggest benefits that people get out of the organization and why it's important to be involved. Um, but certainly the uh, extra programs that people can be invited to and be involved in um, that are done here locally that we try and do every month or every couple of months, edu you know, updating education. Um, I think, again, the mentoring um, and meeting colleagues, the networking with people. Um, you know, I've met hundreds of people through GVNA and, you know, their colleagues, their peers, their friends. Um, I know them on many different levels. So I think, you know, there's a lot of benefit to joining an organization, whether it's your own um, professional organization like GVNA or, you know, joining an organization like periop nurses or critical care nurses. You know, we need to just not be stale in what we do, not going to work every day go home and put our feet up and think that's it for us as nurses. We certainly as true professionals owe it to our profession to continue with uh, learning about 
you know, these kinds of organizations and joining. And that is exactly how I feel about it being a, a, a new grad. Still, I'm still a new grad for another couple of months, I think, uh, till, uh, till May <laughs> of uh, this year. Um, the, the biggest benefit to me of, of joining uh, GVNA has been that networking and being able to uh, to get that guidance from more seasoned, experienced nurses and helping pave the way, passing on the tradition uh, of lessons learned from the uh, from one generation of nurses to the next has been extremely valuable to me, um, as well as uh, getting advice uh, on on career matters. And now, as I start to seek a a bachelor's program that I want to go to, getting advice and input uh, from people that have been there as to which program would be uh, best to me. Uh, so that's what I found as a new grad coming into uh, GVNA is the most beneficial. And I certainly would recommend it to any new graduates who a new grad in nursing. Don't wait uh, till you have a couple years in as a nurse to join a professional organization. Get involved right now locally and, and start to make that difference. Would you agree? Oh, I completely agree. And certainly our message is going to be coming out uh, loud and clear over the next coming year um, as we go into our second year with this board because we're going to try and get back into the schools and the uh, colleges and try and meet and greet some of these nursing students who have no idea what GVNA is all about. I talk to my own students and they'll say, you're president of some organization. I, what is it? They don't even know what GVNA is and that's sad and that means we're really not doing our job um, of getting the word out to the new grads because they are the voice of the future that is our future in nursing and we want to make sure that they understand the importance of getting involved early so our goal over the next year is to get into the area hospitals the long-term care facilities the colleges and meet and greet some of the new nurses who really don't have any idea of what gvna is all about and just as a plug those of you in school right now it's very minimal uh, financial obligation for you. It's $10 to join GVNA and new grads, it's free for the first year. So, you know, really there is no huge financial burden for you uh, to join. And there's so many great benefits that you'll, you'll be able to reap from joining. Well, Jackie, thank you very much for taking the time to join us tonight. Of course, uh, we'll put all your contact information uh, in the show notes and encourage everyone uh, that's viewing this to go over to gvna.us. That's the GVNA homepage. From there, you can find links to our membership information, how to register membership online, and to view all our articles, and may I say very interesting and informative articles, on the GVNA blog. And of course, more video content just like this will be coming up in future weeks. So Jackie, once again, thank you for joining us on the uh, Genesee Valley Nurses Association blog, and I look forward to talking talking to you very soon. Okay, thanks Rick. I really appreciate appreciate the opportunity to meet with you via uh, you know, my home uh, and uh, my iPad. So thanks a lot for the opportunity. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, this is Rick Rosati for the Genesee Valley Nurses Association. Thank you for joining us tonight. Please again join us at gvna.us.